From the Beaver County Auto Studios, it's a Penn's Quickie here on Pittsburgh Sports Live and Pittsburgh Hockey Now. Hi, I'm Dan Kingerski. Let's take a look at the lining up of the Derek Broussard suitors as Pittsburgh Hockey Now was the first report just a few days ago. Teams are calling the Penguins about Broussard, and the, the Penguins are doing a bit more than listening. Let's dive right into it. Of course, the uh, first report came about the Dallas Stars. Now, following up... Uh, on the Penguins' decision. Essentially, they've got a choice to insert Riley Shane as the third-line center, or they've got to acquire a center from someone via trade. The Dallas Stars have a couple centers who might fit the bill. First, to talk about Radic Faxa. A surprising name that might come in just a little bit, Jason Spezza. 35-year-old Spezza will be an unrestricted free agent a bit expensive right now is about a .5 points per game guy in his first 42 games. He had only 21 points. He's not the Jason Spezza you may remember, but he may fit well in a third-line role. So we'll see uh, how serious those talks become. The second team then that we were able to confirm had called division rivals. The Columbus Blue Jackets make the call. No, I don't see it happening either, and I don't see uh, Columbus offering up a center that would make the Penguins better in exchange for a center that would make Columbus better. Certainly the Penguins probably wouldn't do that to a very likely playoff opponent. So we're two down now. There's a couple more to go. Pittsburgh Hockey now has been working its Western Conference sources. We've not been able to confirm continued interest from the Colorado Avalanche. Now, we know that the Avalanche have had eyes on Broussard at different points this season. They certainly had eyes on him last season leading up to the trade deadline. Our source in Colorado said mixed bag, mixed messages. So that conversation may occur. It may not occur. Quite frankly, the Avalanche have to make that decision if they continue to uh, pursue Broussard right now. They're a very top-heavy team, one line, when you talk about Nathan McKinnon and Miko Rantanen. The other team we can't confirm is still interested is Winnipeg. Now, we all know that Winnipeg made a hard run at Broussard at the trade deadline last season. They were the front runners until George McPhee and Vegas stepped forward with $2 million bucks in their back pocket to help the Penguins swing the deal and to keep Broussard out of Winnipeg because Vegas feared that uh, this guy could beat them. In the Western Conference Final, it turned out to be a very prescient uh, move for Vegas as, of course, they made the Stanley Cup Final. So those are the teams we know. Now, let me drop one quick surprise on you. The smoke is, is picking up. There's no fire yet. We cannot confirm from firsthand sources any direct talks between the Penguins and this team, the Minnesota Wild. Let me toss one name at you. It makes a lot of sense. Eric Stahl, the big center, 32 years old, is a bit expensive, so some salary would have to go back to Minnesota in exchange. But, boy, we know Jim Rutherford likes his Stahl brothers and a guy who can play like Stahl defensively and chip in the offense from the Penguins' third line just might be what the doctor ordered. That's your little tip here from Pittsburgh Sports Live. Keep an eye on Minnesota. That's the Derek Broussard update. I'm Dan Kingerski for Pittsburgh Sports Live and Pittsburgh Hockey Now.